Tire Care's 8-wheel tire pressure monitoring system is a system that monitors your vehicle's tire pressure in real time. Eight tire pressure sensors send readings to a monitor in your vehicle so that you can keep an eye on your tire pressure while driving. The system is there to detect abnormal tire pressure, prevent tire blowouts and prolong tire life. The system consists of eight pressure sensors fitted to the tires of your vehicle and trailer or caravan, a combination of internal sensors fitted inside the rim of your vehicle's tires and or external sensors for flexible use on a trailer or caravan as needed. The sensors wirelessly transmits the tire pressure in real time to a solar powered monitor in your vehicle. In the case of a slow or fast deflation, the monitor will set off an alarm. These alarms are set to go off if the tire pressure goes under the set low pressure mark or above the set high pressure mark. To install the system in your vehicle, use the provided bracket and double-sided stickers to mount the wireless solar-powered monitor on your windshield. Switch the monitor on by sliding the power switch on the upper right of the unit upwards. Install the eight pressure sensors on the tires. Number 1 and 2 on the front tires, number 3 and 4 on the rear tires, and number 5, 6, 7 and 8 on your trailer or caravan. Internal sensors can be fitted inside your tire by your tire dealer. For the external sensors, screw the nut on the valve and then the sensor. Lock the sensor with a lock nut. The position of each sensor will be indicated on the monitor. The vehicle tires on the left and the trailer or caravan tires shown on the right. It is important to note that if one or more of the tire's pressures are not indicated on the monitor, the wheels need to move. The tire pressure will be displayed after a few minutes driving. The unit comes preset for standard warning alerts, but you can use the leftmost button on the monitor to adjust all settings. Press and hold this button until the words bar PSI flash on the screen. Using the plus or minus buttons, go through the settings menu until you get the option you want to change. The first option is the pressure unit setting, used for changing the monitor's measuring unit between bar and PSI. If you press the plus button, the next option displayed is the temperature unit setting, where you can choose between degrees Celsius or degrees Fahrenheit. If you press the plus button again, the next few settings will cycle between the high pressure settings and low pressure setting for the tires on each axle. These numbers indicate the tire pressure that will sound the unit's alarm when it increases above the high pressure setting or below the low pressure setting. If you press the plus button again, the high temperature setting will be displayed. Here you can set the temperature that will sound the unit's alarm. This setting applies to all tires. If you press the plus button again, the sensor matching options are available. This can be used to add new sensors to the system in the event that any sensors are replaced. If you press the plus button one more time, you will reach the tire exchange setting. For internal sensors, you can use this to exchange tire positions after wheel rotations. A full explanation of the procedure will be given later in this video. The next option when you press the plus button again allows you to toggle the system between 8 wheel, 6 wheel or 4 wheel mode depending on your requirements. Pressing the plus button one more time will get you back to the first settings menu, indicated by bar and PSI displayed on the screen. If you want to change something, in this example the low pressure warning level, navigate to the setting and tap the settings button once. The option will start to flash. Changes can then be made using the plus or minus buttons. When the necessary changes have been made, press the settings button once to accept and save changes. When you are done changing settings, hold down the settings button until the home screen appears. The tire pressure might not be displayed immediately. In that case, you'll have to drive the vehicle to activate the sensors. When rotating the tires, you will have to swap the tire positions on the tire pressure monitoring system for internal sensors. External sensors can simply be screwed onto the corresponding wheel. After rotating the wheels, hold down the settings button until the screen displays bar and PSI. Press the minus button twice and the wheel positions will flash. Press the settings button once to make changes, use plus or minus to select the wheel to swap, press the settings button and then use plus or minus to select the wheel's new position. Press the settings button to confirm and the corresponding wheel numbers will swap positions. Repeat until all tires are indicated in the correct position. Now press and hold the settings button to return to the home screen. When one or more of the sensors need to be replaced, the new sensors will have to be registered and matched to the monitor of the tire pressure monitoring system. To match a new sensor onto the monitor, 
hold down the back button until the screen displays the front right tire flashing and the applicable sensor's unique ID code. Using the plus or minus buttons, select the relevant sensor to be matched. For internal sensors, inflate or deflate the selected tire slightly until the monitor beeps once. For external sensors, simply screw the sensor onto the valve and the monitor will beep once. The new sensor's unique ID code will now be displayed. Repeat this process on each tire as necessary. Press and hold the settings button to return to the home screen. The tire pressure monitoring system sensors send information to the monitor and the monitor will display the pressures last sent through. The sensors and monitor automatically enter sleep mode when the vehicle isn't in use for longer than 5 minutes and until the wheels move again, the last received pressures will be displayed. The wheel on the left side of the monitor can be used to adjust the brightness of the screen. Batteries can be replaced on both external and internal sensors, and sensors can be bought separately. If the monitor is dead or on low battery power, use the provided USB cable to connect to an electrical power source to charge. Included in the box is the monitor, mounting bracket, a combination of eight internal and or external sensors, depending on the set, optional signal booster, valves, lock nuts, screws, screwdriver, spanners, instructional booklet, and USB power cord. This set is available with eight internal sensors or eight external sensors or four internal and four external sensors. For more information, go to tirecare.co.za.